Good morning and welcome back to the Thought of the Day. Uh, this week we are looking at lyrics from songs by a band called Need to Breathe. And today we are looking at a song called Garden, which is uh, written from the perspective of Jesus as he prays to God in the Garden of Gethsemane. Uh, the lyric today uh, is kind of uh, halfway through the song. And it says this, in this hour of doubt, I see who I am is not just me. So give me strength to die myself so love can live to tell the tale. Uh, I think this is such a beautiful lyric, um, you know, given the context. So Jesus in the garden is praying for, you know, if there's any other way this can be done, then you know, let, let's do that. But if there isn't, then your will be done. And th this lyric really, for me, just highlights this idea that Jesus knew that he was doing something that was bigger than his human self. You know, the, the prayer in the garden uh, shows the very, uh, the kind of human nature of Jesus. Um, and it's so human to want to back away from something that's going to be hard and to not have to do it. And um, But Jesus really knows that he is doing something that is greater than himself. And that by dying, that it means that love can live on. If Jesus had you know, not died on the cross, then he wouldn't have defeated death. He wouldn't have taken the sins of all people onto himself and, and you know, paid the punishment, paid the price for our sins. So we, we couldn't, we wouldn't be able to be forgiven. We wouldn't have been able to reconnect that relationship with God. Uh, we wouldn't have a place in heaven. All those things that, that is, you know, the, the foundation of the Christian faith, the bedrock of, Jesus as Messiah relies on him dying in the way that he did. And Jesus, I suppose it's maybe tricky theologically, um, but you know, Jesus's divine nature would have known that, and Jesus's human nature would have resisted that I suppose um, but this lyric kind of falls in line with what we read in uh, in the Gospels so in Luke uh, chapter 22 verse 42 Father if you are willing take this cup from me yet not my will but yours be done you know Jesus knows that God's will has to be done and if that means that he dies, then that's the way it has to be. If that means that uh, love can live on to tell the tale, that we can know the thing that Jesus did, this huge sacrifice, so that love could live, so that we could have that relationship with God, then he was willing to do it. Um, and so I guess it makes me makes me wonder... How often do we realise and acknowledge that when it comes to uh, following Jesus, when it comes to being part of the church family, you know, kind of the, ch the church. Um, okay, Luna. When it comes to be part of that, do we realise that it's bigger than just ourselves, that we are part of something greater? Um and that if some part of us has to die, you know, the Bible talks about dying to yourself um, so that you might live. If, if part of us needs to die for love, to live on and tell the tale, are we willing to make that sacrifice? Are we willing to take that cup? Um, yeah. So that's my challenge for today is to be aware that there are things bigger than ourselves that are going on in God's mission and in God's plan 
for us individually and for us as a church and for the world and when we recognize a part of ourselves that needs to die in order for love to live that we're willing to make that sacrifice in the same way that Jesus was willing. Amen.